Hello everyone and welcome to Senior Classroom. In today's video, we're delving into the world of database management with a focus on Microsoft SQL Server. Have you ever wondered how to quickly create an entity relationship diagram and generate comprehensive documentation for your SQL database? Well, you're in the right place. Today, we'll be exploring an open source tool called Schema Spy, which makes the process of visualizing and documenting your MS SQL database a breeze. Whether you're a developer, database administrator, or just someone curious about database structures, this video is for you. Let's jump right in. Now, before we get started, let's go over the prerequisites and tools you'll need for this tutorial. Java Runtime Environment Schema Spy is a Java based tool, so make sure you have JRE installed on your machine. JDBC driver for the PostgreSQL database. Download and save it in a folder to connect to the PostgreSQL database using the Schema Spy application. You can download the driver file from the PostgreSQL.org website. Schema Spy jar file. Download the Schema Spy jar file from the official website. This is the executable file that will analyze your database and generate the documentation. GraphVise. GraphVers is a graph visualization software that Schema Spy uses to create the ER diagrams. While it's optional, having it installed enhances the visual representation of your database relationships. Once you have these prerequisites in place, we can move on to the exciting part, creating an ER diagram and generating documentation for your MS SQL database. So let's get started. In this Schema Spy folder, I have all the required drivers and configuration files. SQL drivers, configuration file, Schema Spy jar file. This is the downloaded JDBC driver for PostgreSQL database. Configuration file for executing Schema Spy jar file. It has all the settings and database credentials for generate database documentation. More configuration options can be found from the schemaspy.org website. In this Schema Spy documentation, you can see all the options available to customize your database documentation. Now, we have everything needed to generate the database documentation. Let's start the generation process. Open the command prompt. Enter the following command. Press Enter. There you go. Schema Spy starts generating documentation into the output folder, which we have specified in the configuration file. Once it is finished, we can see a folder containing HTML and JavaScript files. It will have an index.html file. That will be the starting point for viewing our documentation. This is the generated output folder and the files I mentioned earlier. Double click and open the index.html file in a browser to see the newly created documentation of our MS SQL database. On the first page, we can see a list of schemas available in our database. Click on one of the schema names to view its SQL objects, such as tables, views, stored procedures, entity relationship diagrams, etc. Here, we're looking at a tabular list of tables and views. For each entry, you'll find information on the number of child tables, the number of parent tables, the count of columns, the existing number of rows, and any available comments or descriptions. Under this menu, you can find a comprehensive list of all the columns available in the tables and views. It will also display existing constraints, including primary keys, foreign keys, indexes, references, 
etc. This is our most important page. Here, you can observe the neatly created entity relationship diagram. There are four versions of the same diagram. Compact, large, compact implied, and large implied. The main differences lie in the included column count and the representation of relationships. If you click on any table name, it will show full details of that table, including its columns, data types, number of rows, constraints, indexes, parent and child tables, entity relationship diagram, etc. If you click on the Employee Department History table, it will display full details of that table, including List of Columns, List of Indexes, Check Constraints, Relationship Diagram. Similarly, if you click on the Department table, it will show the details of the Department table. The main attraction of this relationship diagram is its interactivity. It is entirely clickable, allowing for easy access to details of any table with a simple click. Next is the Orphan menu. If there is any table that exists without entity relationships, such tables will be listed here. Under the Anomalies menu, you can check for any incorrect references, relationships, or anything that violates normalization rules. They will be listed here. The next menu is Routine. Here, you can find a list of user-defined stored procedures and functions available in the database. Currently, we have only stored procedures. If you click on any of these stored procedures, you can see the full details, including parameters, SQL queries, involved tables, etc. One main advantage of this documentation is that we can deploy it as a website. This makes it possible to integrate it seamlessly into the CICD deployment process. In conclusion, Schema Spy offers a powerful solution for generating comprehensive documentation for databases. With its interactive and visually appealing features, exploring database structures becomes effortless. The ability to deploy the documentation as a website adds a practical dimension, making it a seamless integration into CICD processes. From interactive relationship diagrams to detailed table views, Schema Spy simplifies the understanding of database architecture. Enhance your database documentation process with Schema Spy, bringing clarity and efficiency to database management. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe for more tech insights. Thanks for watching.